In this short webinar, we'll be discussing preparing MCAD geometry for CFD analysis using FlowEFD from Mentor Graphics. On the screen, we have a quick release hydraulic valve, which we'll be using to demonstrate the steps needed to prepare the geometry for analysis. The first thing to discuss is simplifying geometry. As we can see, these parts have been natively built within Creo Parametric 3.0. There are various features which we would like to remove before the analysis stage. This nut, for example, has a detailed thread and some embossed lettering which are not required for analysis. Whenever we can, we want to remove unnecessary features as these add to the mesh count and increase the solve time without actually impacting the results. As FlowEFD is an MCAD embedded tool, we make that very easy to do. All we have to do is find the features in the Creo tree and simply suppress them. We first suppress the embossed lettering which removes the raised lettering but leaves the part number for us as a surface wrap. We can also quickly remove the complex thread which has been created using a helical sweep, again suppressing the Creo feature. The rest of the geometry can be inspected for unnecessary features using a cross section. We can also see a thread present on the piston. We can open the part, find the thread and suppress it. This again removes the complexity from the part very quickly to simplify the geometry. The next thing we need to check for is if there are any surfaces in the model. Zooming in around this component, we can see it's hollow in the cross section. Let's examine this further by opening it. A default blue surface colouring in Creo indicates a surface. We need to solidify this for analysis. It seems to be a closed surface, so we can quickly solidify this using the Creo solidify command. Flow EFD requires solids as heat transfer requires a volume for calculations. Now that this has been solidified, we can return to the main assembly and we can now see it is no longer hollow. Flow EFD can deal with overlapping components with no problem. We have many instances of parts overlapping each other in this example. Flow EFD handles this with ease and no modification to the parts is required before analysis. When heat transfer is considered, the materials lower in the Flow EFD tree take priority in the overlapping sections. The next thing we need to do is create a closed fluid domain. We do this by creating lids on the inlets and outlets. We can use the flow EFD create lids feature to quickly do this. We start the command and select a planar face to apply the lids to. The inlet and outlet faces are selected and a virtual lid is previewed before we confirm the selection. We can see two additional parts in the Creo tree named lid1 and lid2. Let's activate the cross section and return the view. We should now have a fluid region which can be reported in the central core. Flow EFD has a check geometry functionality which will assess the geometry for us and report any issues. We change the analysis type to internal and click show fluid region. The software will then overlay on the assembly where it thinks the fluid region is going to be. On the screen we can see several closed cavities but not the main core flow region. This means we have a leak from the internal to an external face, which we need to find and plug. The easiest way of doing this is to use the Flow EFD Leaks Tracking tool, which is another tool provided for use when preparing the geometry. We need to select a face to track from, such as the internal face of the lid, and then an external face, such as the outside of the same lid. The software will then connect the two faces together on the screen with a ribbon showing the path between them. By changing to wireframe and following the ribbon, we can see exactly how the faces are connected. Zooming in around one of the bodies, we can see some small holes which are causing the leak. To remove them, we simply open the part, suppress the feature, which in this case is the pattern, and then return to the main assembly. We can check the geometry again, and this time the software has correctly identified the core fluid region. As we have seen, Flow EFD has several useful built-in functionalities to make the transition from raw CAD geometry to CFD-ready geometry very simple and painless. Much of this is a result of being CAD embedded and the access to the native CAD data. This has been a 5-minute quick tips webinar from Mentor Graphics. Please look out for other videos highlighting Flow EFD differentiators.